Hey guys, welcome to Mind Time. So I've been trying out a lot of different software lately that you could be using for mining, uh, mostly ones that'll do auto switching, whether that's nice hash, kudo miner, honey miner, etc. There's a whole list of them. Um, and the truth is, I had a really hard time deciding which one I liked best. And there's a lot of different reviews and videos of people comparing uh, the hash rates and things of that nature. And I think for now, I'm going to settle on Kudo Miner, which actually they're just about to release Kudo Miner, Kudo Miner 1.0 in the next week, which will be really cool and have some uh, changes compared to what you see here. Uh, but I just want to show you guys real quick how quick and easy it is to set up and install Kudo Miner. And then also, you know, let's say you don't have a, a, a mining rig. If you just have a gaming PC or even a PC with a GPU, um, how you can set this up in a way so that it just kind of auto mines when you're not using the PC makes a few bucks, um, you know, when you're not using the PC anyways. So anyways, let's get started. So you first you go to kudominer.com and then you would go ahead and create a login. I already have one, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. Okay. And so this page shows you a lot of different statistics about uh, your machines and everything you have set up. Um, this one already shows a lot because I do have some machines running. But I'm going to show you real quick how to get a new machine up. So on the left here you go to devices. And when you get in here you hit connect a device. And then you have some different options. For this particular case we're going to do Windows. You hit continue. And then you're going to download Kudo Miner. Once you do that, it creates a zip folder, and uh, you're just going to run Kuno, Kudo Miner EXE. Maybe. All right. So there we go. We hit I agree. We can exit out of this. Now it's doing the install. Alright, once it's installed, you may not see anything pop up, but if you go down into your uh, tray at the bottom of Windows, you can see their icon in there. Um, so then you bring it up, and what it's going to do, depending on your settings that you set in the web console, um, which is under configurations and the default configuration, um, it's going to set it up according to those settings. And for me, I have it so the GPUs mine, but not CPUs. Uh, on the uh, PC side, you can go ahead and enable, let's say, the CPU, um, or disable each piece. You can also go into your settings, enable, and you can also um, change your overclocking and different settings regarding your CPUs and GPUs accordingly. Um, once you start running, you can go under the Benchmarks tab, and anywhere that this uh, gray exclamation icon is, it's giving you an estimate of what it thinks that your hardware could um, produce. So these ones are all NVIDIA, so those are my GPU. Um, and then it's showing the hash rates and how many dollars per month that is based on current rates. If there's a green check mark, that's going to be things that have already benchmarked and we can see the actual performance of what the hardware did. And as it runs through different software, these will continue to change from green or from gray to green in order to show you your actual um, <coughs> benchmarks. Uh, you can go under history and see the history of your jobs and if you had an error you can take a look at this here um, under settings there's a lot of different things if you um, you should turn on Windows Defender exclusions this is just gonna make it so that kudo miner tells Windows to allow some of the mining software that it's gonna automatically download um, overclocking this is up to you. You can play with the settings in here, but I prefer to use other overclocking software um, rather than what's in here. Um, I would enable automatically enable new workloads. Um, 
and then based on your CPU, GPU, you can do settings according to those. Uh, and I believe this is also where your overclocking settings would be as well, yeah. Okay, and then down here, uh, startup visibility when it starts, whether it's a full size or shrunk down. Uh, and then if it's a computer that you want to pause mining when you're using it, make sure you select this pause when computer is in use, um, or you can schedule use so it only mines at certain times. Launch at startup, meaning when you start the computer, it'll automatically launch Kudo Miner, and to earn when started. So then when Kudo Miner comes up, it automatically starts mining. If this is going to be your desktop PC, I would recommend um, turning on pause when computer is in use, turning on launch at startup, and turning on earn when started. Cool. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment. Also, I'm going to post my uh, referral link, and then if any of you guys use that to get started with Kudo Miner, that would be great. That helps me out. And then you can go ahead and refer your friends to your account as well and refer off of them. Um, thanks for watching. This has been Mind Time.